Hey there, it's Chris with uh, Essential Motion Spine and Sport. I uh, just wanted to come at you today and give you an example of a chiropractic adjustment. Um, with Dr. Buka here, Hi with Essential Motion Spine and Sport, and we wanted to show you the, the, the cervical or the neck area and then the upper thoracic area kind of between the shoulder blades. Um, we find that to be a really common area of, of pain and problem, especially for people that have, awesome. say, a, a desk type job where they're sitting the head comes forward, they're typing or on the phone, um, and driving. A lot of things just in life tend to tend to get this area. It can be both sides or it can be just to one side and kind of radiate into the upper trap, maybe in the shoulder blade area. Um, you may even notice like a loss of, of motion at times where you wake up and um, you just can't turn to one side or can't go back because there's kind of just feels like it's blocked back there. Uh, a good way to to remedy that or a good you know good fix a good initial treatment is to come in and have have uh, either myself or Dr. Buka uh, assess that and see um, if you're a good candidate for uh, a manipulation of, of the spinal segments and there's always going to be a, a way for us to show you some other movements as well uh, to take home to work on that stuff so um, he's the expert at it so I'm just going to have him um, adjust me and show you that it's, it's a very safe and very simple uh, procedure nothing to worry about and we'll, uh, if you have any questions, just post them below and let us know. We'll, we'll uh, answer any questions that you have. So I'm going to have him have, which, which way would you like me on the, on the table? Let's see. Take a seat at the end here first. Okay. So obviously before you adjust, you assess. I do everything kind of a seated assessment. Okay. Um, so you can just do a scan of the full spine. The, the, the posture part right you here. You start, <laughs> and I always make people sit up tall. Yeah. It's kind of awkward for some people because that's not their normal, yeah. normal position. But I, you can go in here, you can get different. Kind of segments the pelvis doesn't move, move much but you can kind of get in there it only has two or three degrees of motion um, and you can you can see how my head kind of forms into a nice line if i sit up when i sit when i sit slouched it will go it will go automatically go forward like that when I, just just by adjusting my my pelvis and low back it brings this forward and as soon as i come up then it brings me right in a nice alignment mm -hmm. yeah so you scan up the spine here uh, most people are going to be a little restricted in the mid back um, that's one common area you see most people are hypermobile kind of in the low back or not hyper hypermobile in certain planes of motion I guess yeah and then kind of mid cervical too um, that's where you see the most I guess most uh, most motion uh, so mid back like in most people he's just a little locked up through here you kind of come up here assess CT junction which that way doesn't move as hard as the other way um, let's see so I have them face up then so after kind of assessing I'm going to lay down laying on your back okay that's um, right. Just so a little bit more towards me here. Perfect. All right. So then relax down. It's pretty easy. So this is where you kind of assess the cervical spine. You can find certain areas that are, like he was talking about, restricted, restricted or not moving well. Um, you know, you get a little rotation there, both ways. Maybe tuck your chin to your chest here for me. Perfect. All right. So he's a little kind of locked up uh, up in the up top here. So. Uh, take his joints to where they, they lock out, quit moving, so it's not a big, big motion here. And I'm gonna put a little, little thrust through the upper cervical spine. As you can see, it's a, it's a quick, quick little motion. Yeah. Um, doesn't involve too, it's, too much. It's not a high, you know, amplitude velocity where they take it back and, and really jam it in there. It's, it's a very, very small movement. Mm -hmm. the same thing, a little different area, kind of mid lower through. Actually, we're gonna get a little CT on here. That's a cervical adjustment. There it um, is. And then from this position, I'm gonna keep it right here. I do everything kind of laying on your back here. So basically, I'm gonna give him a little hug. I find areas that aren't moving. I'm gonna put my fist behind him, give a little squeeze, or get some of those joints to release and, and move a little better. So to take a little breath in for me, pull her out. All right. One more time, right through here. Some of, some of the joints will actually, uh, for me anyway, manipulate it and moved Before. just with, just with setup, just as like because yeah. it just needed to get more and more stuff. Yeah, and that's a that's a really good example of of the cervical in, in uh, lying down. We call supine, which would be face up for the upper, the lower. Now remember, there's there's seven uh, bones there in the, in the neck of the cervical spine, and then twelve in the thoracic. So all of those areas up and down can have little restrictions um, of movement. And you'll notice that you'll feel like I just can't turn as well. 
you get stiffness. Um, they'll, they can always be, be pain as well. Mm -hmm. um, obviously, a combination of, of mechanics and pain where you don't feel like you're moving as well and it hurts. Um, so, okay, that was that one. If, any other questions or at least some education for you to, to see how that works and let us know if you have anything else. You'd like to see anything else, a, a low back or a hip or something else. We can always give you some more stuff. Okay, thanks, yeah. guys. All right, thank you.